What is going on collectors optical 20 back for another video preview today we're going to take a look at iron man mark 4 with suit up gantry i think this has maybe three skus i see just the gantry then i see just mark 4 and then them both so however if you want to pre-order this head over to bigbadtoystore.com when it's available i'll put the link down below now i don't know man this is a great looking figure however it's gonna be huge i mean judging from the previous um you know iron man's the quarter scale i man you gotta have a big space for this first and foremost the one sixth version with a uh, gantry back then because i do have mark four that already takes up a massive real estate imagine on a quarter scale mm, i don't know but I'm pretty sure it's going to look good. Like this could be the centerpiece of your collection since I mean Mark 4. I personally love Mark 4. I think this is I I feel like Mark 4 is just Iron Man. Like you it's it just screams Iron Man. I know Mark 3 um you know a lot of people that's iconic obviously because it's the first movie and all that stuff, but I don't know 4 just gives me this vibe. That whenever you think about four, you think about Iron Man because of the I don't know the arc reactor. It's in, it has the curves, and and all that stuff. So I mean that's just me. However, judging from the previous sales of, you know, uh, quarter scale, not just Iron Man but Hot Toys in general, I don't know because I mean there's like Mark Forty Two that's gonna come out the deluxe version. Uh, that's up for pre-order at 645. I think that's a reissue. And then Mark III took a while for it, you know, to sell out. And that was 618, the deluxe version. This, the Gantry one, the Gantry one, which is back in 1.6, I believe this is 700. Man, this is, I don't know, this might be over a thousand dollars. And depending on the price point, because I don't see it being below eight nine hundred. It's just impossible, right? I'm guessing this is going to be around a thousand dollar mark, and if that's the case, it's going to feel like a statue now, right? As cool as this figure is, you could you, is it is it far fetched that you just get the Iron Studios or something, the Mark Seven? I I think that's Iron Studios for like six hundred dollars, and I don't know, I don't know because here's the thing. Their Iron Man is their cream of the crop when it comes to uh, their figures, right? That's their top line grade A figure. That's their money maker. It's their Iron Man. And we all know that in one six scale, it, I'm pretty sure it's going to translate to one, a quarter scale. Um, it's not going to be die cast, but it is possible. But do you really want to post these guys that much? I don't, I don't know. See, it's going to be made out of plastic and... And, and now you're going to take up all that space. I, I'm i not sure, you know. I mean, coming if it comes down for the right price, like I said, I do love Mark IV. And I already have one in a 1.6 scale, you know, format. Depending on the price, if it, which I don't see this, even the single pack, even the one with no, you know, gantry and all that stuff, I don't see it going down 500. And if that's the case... um. I don't know. I might just look into statues, man. And and it's hard. It's hard because I already have this. If I'm going to get like a quarter scale mark, I mean, Iron Man, I might look into the 42 because the, at least that's just a bit taller. You know, that's going to be tall because of the, the base. But this gantry, man, it again, it's going to eat up a lot of space. But if you do have the space and you don't mind this massive, you know, figures then by all means it, i'm sure it'll look fantastic again it's an iron man so you really can't go wrong especially an iron man from hot toys so you can't you know the, the two factors here here would it be the price and the space if both are not are non-issue go right ahead you know i it'll be it's gonna be beautiful for sure um I, i'm thinking of a good price for this that would um somewhat be practical right like okay because now you have a competition compared to one sixth when the mark four was announced with a gantry on it you really have no competition because i mean at one six scale nothing nothing would come close to hot toys 
Now, at the quarter scale, I'm not saying, you know, the statues offer the same way with a gantry, gantry and all that stuff. However, there's other options as far as, you know, statues and poses. Some of, some of them have light of functionality as well. As, as So is this. Now, this is posable. You can pose it however you want. But do you, re I mean, if you are in this large format and, you know, you, obviously you want presence that's why you buy you bought quarter scale maybe you'll post it around maybe but i personally haven't changed my pose for my quarter scale spider-man since i got it this is not as easy to pose as a one six scale where you just pick it up you know move the arms around and play around with it maybe for you because again if the size of this that means it's going to take up space maybe it's in the top tier shelf or where whatever the case is it's not gonna be as accessible, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, but again, it looks great, man. I mean, just kind of like this Mark IV that I, you know, that kind of reminds me of the Mark VI when it has like missiles coming out. So, but hey, to those who are saying, oh, it's another Iron Man, man Mark IV is as iconic as as you uh, as you can see right here. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Love this. Bring all. The, I, I have again. You found respect for quarter scale um, hot toys. They're beautiful. I only own one. I wish I owned more because again, they are more. They they got they give you the statue esque vibe, but the price again. I'm now. It was no secret that one of the biggest reasons I got that quarter scale Spider Man was because of the price that I got it for. This is gonna be upwards of at at the very minimum nine hundred at a minimum. So at that price point, I don't know. I don't know. That's just how I feel. I don't know how I don't have any inside information. I'm just judging it from the price of the previous one six scale. I just don't see this being only a hundred or two hundred dollar difference than the one six scale. I just don't. But hey, let's take a look, right? I mean, this is gonna be plastic, not die cast, so you never know. But again, thank you for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this figure. I know there's not a whole lot of quarter scale collectors out there, but is this something you would even consider, you know, because of the fact that it is just so iconic? So let me know in the comments down below. Again, thank you for watching, guys. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch. Happy New Year to everyone. Have a safe one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.